Okay, here we go. May 16, 2024 at the Eastern San Diego County Youth Fair. And we have the Junior 4-H right now, live. We have uh, four young people here and their hogs. We have a nice audience too, which is awesome. Going back to the kids. And the judges in the center there with a white shirt, and the gentleman. 4-H is very special to me. I was a 4-H kid many years ago and those values and still I think are in me today. So the green jackets are 4-H, the blue are FFA, and the red vests are orange. So I got all three views from the county. Lynn Moore, the 2024 Swine Showmanship. Currently in the ring are Junior 4-H Showman. Most of these are raised for a year and they go to auction on Saturday, but some of them, most of them. And one of the things you notice is uh, the youth are supposed to be looking at the, the judge here. Or you notice that? Girl right there is most of the time facing the judge, and so are the other youth here. And, and the other judges are behind the table over there. Just a real fun day. Notice her poise and the others. Turn around and look at the uh, judge. That little guy's uh, that little hog is uh, just being a little butthead, I guess you'd say, or I guess we shouldn't say that, right? There we go. I'll have trained for this moment in the clubs. Eastern San Diego County. I had a chance to talk to some of these kids with like all different type of animals or projects, ask them a lot of questions. They're real fun to talk with. That's a determined young man over there. And he's doing just great. Kind of clustered in the group back there now. Let's see how to get out of this. kids are just dynamite about what they do with their animals. And again, this is a junior 4-H position for the hogs. All right.
stuff back here. Break it out. First of all, intermediate. Please bring your animals to the show. First of all, intermediate. Okay, so the intermediate are coming up, and we're going to be in the. Uh, well, I tell you, the wheels are starting to spin, and we're not probably making the right direction for progress out here in the first class of the show. I was just thinking back the other night. We had a new one. We were talking for the first time. A couple of girls we did the other night from the hour after the day. We just had a long week at the fair, and the children were probably getting a little tired as well. So we kind of had the best of luck out there in keeping them off down the center and trying to keep them out of trouble. Uh, I know it's a little frustrating for those young people, but uh, sometimes that's just what happens. And they get that in their fingers, or the soft is smart enough to get all the excavations. So, we do have a uh, man here uh, with the Belton Hog out of the yeah. This is going to be our team in here, the deep drop. I don't know he perfect, but he had probably, if he's going to put the stop box on the hole, he probably spent the less time uh, of the green guy in the corner of the ring. Again, for the most part, I thought he did uh, a good job that we could have asked here. Uh, his first class in Revelation, so I was trying to keep his foot out from the ground and keep him moving. So, you know, there's a, just a few things I think when you come through the gate, I wanted to see him just a little more intense uh, with me and, and keeping a, you know, getting the hall kind of between us. And, and I encourage you, when you come through that gate, drive it to me and then make a left turn. Okay, that's what usually when a judge is standing out here in the middle, they want to see your hog come at them. See him from the side, so don't just run him right over my top. Uh, on top of me, and that's kind of what he did with that heel. He just kind of brought it right by me. So bring it to me, take a left turn, right turn, and then we'll paint your hand. But at any rate, uh, we want to see him on profile. The lady that left the ring here, uh, she's going to wind up in second, and I thought uh, she did a, a good job in the top of the last five minutes. Showmanship. Uh, this is showmanship, yes, but also every hog you showed to me the other night is also part of showmanship. And a lot of you already remember uh, you know, how you did, and I thought she did a much better job, or at least the hog did a better job the other night than we did out uh, here. She did do the right thing, she came from the gate, I took them off to the side of the profile, I thought she was working that hog really good, and then she just kind of come unraveled and then got to the other end of that. A couple of things that I like for her to work on. Uh, she does a little too much work with her knees, and I've got her foot stepped on, and I told her to, but you know, since she was driving her hog, she probably had her brush on just a little more. Uh, she was using that as kind of a way to move that hog, and that's fine, but I say, don't keep it on the back, and, and we're not going to talk to her about that, she did good. So, man, here's going to wind up in third, and uh, again, uh, here later, he's become a much, much better. That hog's going to have a of time up towards it. The corner and now kind of got her out there and is doing a good job. Probably needs a little more eye contact with me when he came through the gate. Made a couple steps, he looked at me and then he just kind of lost track of me. So again, I would encourage him to just be a little more, uh, a little more vision with me. And then, uh, and then basically uh, the other young showman out here with her belt and bar, that thing, he's just been a, he's been a hard rascal he had shown since the get go. He's got a little higher gear to him and basically just spent a little too much time here on the rail and just kind of falling around. So, uh, yeah, sometimes it just happens that way. Let's be the wrong side of the moon here for this hog. We'll get it off to a little bit start here on the class. We'll get a lot of cooperation from the Nonetheless, kids work hard and congratulations.